400k? Four, 400k? Hold on. This guy says raid has 100% transparency. I won Odin as free to pay. The first few months, I spent a total of 200 pounds. Somebody shared this on my Discord. This person, Juan Sabo, got first place in the Champion Chase Odin tournament. But because he did not score 10,000 points, he did not get Odin. I, I thought that was a pretty nasty thing on Polarium's part. I, I don't like it. I understand Polarium already enough to know that like, that's just the nature of the beast, but I still think it's kind of messed up. Polarium's basically saying, hey, if you don't spend this much money or these many shards, uh, meanwhile, there has been back-to-back -back events that have been enticing and uh, highly encouraging you to drain your shards and every resource that you have, then you can't get Odin. Of course, 10,000 points is nothing to a spender. Even if you're a low spender, 10,000 points is probably not going to be much to you. This really doesn't cater to the greater majority of people, which we already know at this point that Polarium doesn't. So case closed, you can leave the video now. I don't know. It's just kind of a scummy thing to do, right? I mean, not even kind of. It's just a pretty scummy thing to do. Like he got first place. I feel like he should get Odin. But then the other argument to that is, well, I mean, everybody just gets uh, uh, anybody who happens to get first place without really trying just gets Odin. And I guess they didn't want that, which again, like I said, I understand from Polarium's standpoint, but still uh, he did 6,000. Come on. What is that? That's like what? 30 legendaries. He shared. Hello. Just wanted to share this. It seems that nobody in my group got Odin due to lack of points. Has this happened in other groups? And I, I was baffled, right? I got this last night or this morning. I was like, that sucks. It's ridiculous that Polarium even pulls crap like this. And then I was like, I'm going to make a video on this. Shame, Polarium. Shame, shame. It says, yeah, it really sucks if someone had the resources to get him here or she or they without having to compete with anybody. So the champion was basically a missed opportunity in my group. Is 10k points considered hard to accumulate? And then just like I said, definitely not the easiest thing possible and relatively easy, especially for whales. End gamers are highly efficient and disciplined free to players. But for the majority, no. Is Odin worth contending for? Is it worth fighting or going into a whale war for? I did not fight for Odin because I know what it's like already to fight somebody for first place only to uh, get like completely shit on at the very end. Anyone who's free to play pretty much doesn't stand a chance. Again, this is supporting what I just said. You have to get very lucky with grouping. Most will spend a few hundred dollars, a few thousand to win their groups. That's true. A few 100 ancient shards will not get you into the top 500 or top five unless you're in a very weak group. FYI, the final five to 10 minutes of the tournament is pretty much all that matters. For shard pulls, I don't know. I feel like it takes a little bit longer to even do 10 pops, maybe 30 minutes. What do you guys think? Unless you put up a 40K lead or something to discourage others. And that's actually what I did. When I went for a Nergigante Archer, I came out hard. I think in like the first day I had an 80K point lead, something like that. I was 80K points in the lead. And I thought to myself, all right, I can slow down. I don't have to spend any money. Nobody's going to, you know, try and jump me or anything. And so for like the next two days, I was sitting at top. I kept like rising. I was at 90K. Bro, I woke up the, I think it was like the third or the fourth day. The, the, the final day of the event for Nergigante Archer, I woke up and dude, I was at work. I saw this happening. I was pretty, I was heated. This guy was on my heels the morning I woke up. Like he was on my heels. And by the time... I got out of work. By the time the event ended, he had like a 30k, 40k, 50k lead on me. I was pretty upset about it, but I, you know, I tried to keep my chin up over it. Geezer Gaming says, "No way, you could work on an ocean research vessel for years and see so and not see so many whales. Some poor souls will gut their accounts only to wake up to find out they were sniped in the last hour of the tournament. Go for it if you have the money. We're in the speed meta phase. He will fit in the current team soon enough. Do you have literally thousands of indisposable income that you can comfortably burn?" Take a look at the global leaderboards, even towards the bottom for these events, that is who you're up against. They're willing to stay up all night to the very last minute, pulling shards and buying them, buying for shit value just because they can. No, I'd rather eat a spoon hole <laughs> than try to win one of those tournaments. I'm curious. 400k? 4 400k? Hold on. Crypto. <laughs> That's a lot of points, man. 407,000 for a mythical tome and three eternal stones. I mean, more power to you, dude. If you got it like that, you got it like that. That is crazy. 407.5. That is insane. This guy is at 5k points in the Odin Chase rank 1. Ran out of shards. Really think about buying. Oh my gosh. See, that's where it gets 
that's where it gets dangerous because you're you're already invested in that deep and you're like okay well if i just buy it in fact that's what's going on with my my alts account my alts account is bled dry of all resources and like i wanted to go for the five star soul but i have like no resources left so now i'm just like should i even bother or should i just relax take the l on that account it's not really going to make a difference for my account it's just fun to have i'm pretty sure the thor soul will show up in the account later on but still um yeah i run out of shards really thinking about buying how much will it cost to buy 5k points is odin worth the price or will i regret spending i can guarantee you're going to regret spending i don't see what others see in him same in fact i did a video talking about me not really wanting odin anymore like i, I was on i was hyped up for him and then i tested him and i just wasn't I just wasn't like impressed. I think he's highly overrated, especially for Arena, where he is a sheep magnet. Definitely not worth as much as some insane people on Global make him to be. As for you specifically, I wouldn't spend 5k if it's too much since some whale might just double it in an hour. Aelin goes, uh, I don't know if you've been uh, keeping up with things, but they got this new dungeon event that's been running and it drops this pinpoint set that protects you from sheep. <laughs> the, the issue with that is unless you're spending a lot of money or you just have a crap ton of energy to burn and even then you're gonna need a lot of energy to get a full good set it's kind of hard to rely on that you know what i mean so he's like hey man you could if you got odin then you could definitely go ahead and and uh, get the get a pinpoint a nine piece pinpoint set or, or whatever it's called a four or six piece set which i mean i, I guess i kind of understand but at the same time it's kind of like uh, uh, it's like those people who are just like hey uh, um you know not, not hydra is easy just use a chrysia or or this is easy you just need god tier gear <laughs> you know what i mean so uh but no he, he he does have a point right he does have a point seems like to be part of some meta but anyone wanting to win this either is gambling that no one is going to spend or they will be they will need to super crack and up until the end of the event to ensure you don't get um get got at the last minute you don't know if a whale will double it he should go for the 10k minimum because the rewards from the tournament are worth at least getting that after that just hope there's no one that beats you not every tournament has a whale true no unless you're willing to go at least 5 to 10k above it there's always someone who can whale more someone else is in your group thinking the same thing when you hit 10k another player passes you are you ready to lose are you are you willing to lose or are you going to spend more don't i went all in i spent 150 shards in the last push didn't get a single legendary from them now it won't even qualify odin or not this game doesn't deserve your money unless or until they have some transparency into st uh, statistics especially during events this guy says raid has 100 percent transparency you just don't understand how math works one percent chance to get a lego on 2x statistically never guaranteed a lego but thankfully at 200 pulls without one your chance will start to increase by five until 220 until at 220 you're guaranteed one if you still have yet to pull one it's literally in game in the summon section it's gambling they legally have to and do show you the odds anyone claiming there are hidden odds are idiots because they've already set their odds so that the house always wins this is how gambling works i get where he's coming from i understand math you are correct but i also understand business they get more out of me if they were less punishing and actually rewarded players for playing the way that we want i won odin as free to play here's how i've been playing for 11 months so far he's done zinogre armand's wixpill thor Got the four, stole, four, four soul for Rathalos and Armands. First few months, I spent a total of 200 pounds on shards. Uh, number one, don't chase every event. You don't have to, creating your own FOMO, true. Two, only do fusions that would actually impact your account. Like if you're free to play and going for Packmaster, you're nuts. Hey, where's our dog at? Number three, stop using your resources right away. Save them for use in events for more rewards. This also helps slow the game down and make it feel like less of a job. Applies to your silver, bruise, gems, chicken, and energy pots. I had 10,000 gems saved up just by playing the game before the fusion event and decided to go for the chase, used 7,000 to get ancient shards, pulled a thousand mysteries and a few voids, scraped the 10k mark. I did this early on to widen the gap and discourage others from competing. Thankfully it worked. Yeah. Thankfully it worked. You got lucky. I think the slash s is missing somewhere in this post. Free to play and spend 200. Oh, I didn't even catch that. He's not free to play. He's free to pay. I won Odin as free to pay. The first few months, I spent a total of 200 pounds. Free to play means you spent nothing. Once you spend $1, even if you spent 99 cents. Like I said in the post, 
spent 11 months, spent 200 in the first few months. Yeah, you're not free to play. I'm sorry. Even if even even if I started a new account and I bought one 99 cent ancient shard, I'm no longer considered free to play. You went for Amon's Wixpool and Thor had 10k gems saved up, not to mention the Lifestyle 5 on the Titan as free to play. In comparison, I'm endgame, buy the $10 gem monthly pack, and no fucking way can I spare 7k gems on Ancients. The fuck are you on about? I added that extra fuck in there. The Thor fusion alone was 3k gems, maybe more, let alone the Titan event. Not saying you're lying, but something's not adding up. At least for me, I don't do anything in the game besides fusions either. I'ma say it, the OP's lying. What do, you, what do you guys think? Put this as a guide, this is just a flex. This one's pretty funny. How I bought a Ferrari free to play. First, I spent money to buy a lot of cars. Then I traded those in for a Ferrari and stopped buying cars. 